Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another problem from Read Code. I hope you are enjoying all the problems that I am uploading. Today's problem is invalid transactions from Read Code. So a transaction is possibly invalid if the amount exceeds thousand dollars, or it if it occurs within sixty minutes of another transaction within the same sit same name in different city. So there are two uh, conditions to make a transaction is invalid. Basically, first trans first thing is uh, if the amount exceeds thousand dollars, then it's an invalid transaction. Or if the same name uh, transaction of the same name happens within the sixty minutes in another city, then that is also invalid transaction. So we are given with a set of transactions, right? So the transaction consists of some comma separated values. Representing name, time in minutes, amount, and city of the transaction. So now we are given with the list of transactions. We'll have to uh, output the transactions which are possibly invalid, right? So by using the two conditions. So for example, if we go uh, this example, right? The number number one, Alice twenty eight hundred MTV, Alice fifty hundred Beijing. So uh, as it said, first is name, and then next is time, uh, and the next one is the amount, and the last one is the city. That's what it says, right? So in this, there is there are no transactions which are exceeding thousand dollars. So from this, we cannot anything identify, right? But, but the other thing is the same name and within different city, right? So let's see if it is same name and different city. So the name is Alice. Yes, it matched. And it should be a different city, MTV and Beijing. So they are different city. But let's look at if they are within sixty minutes of each other. So the time is twenty, and time is fifty. Yes. So they are, in fact, invalid transactions because they are they happen to be within the sixty minutes of each other, right? So now we'll have to say both of them are invalid transactions. So that's the output that we are going to give. Let's look at another example, right? Just to exercise the first option, the thousand dollars. So in here, uh, Alice and Alice, both same names are same, but here uh, the transaction happened within the same city. So we don't have to look for whether they, they are within sixty minutes or not, right? So the other thing that we have to look for is okay, this is less than thousand dollars, so this is valid, but this is greater than thousand dollars, right? Twelve hundred. So. For this input, the output is just only this transaction will be the output. So likewise, so basically, exercising two conditions, right? So let's look. Let's go look at how uh, we can uh, solve this problem, right? So uh, since we are dealing with four different parameters: name, time, amount, and city, we are going to create a placeholder class with four fields, right? Uh, that And create an array of uh, that placeholder class to store all the transactions that we are seeing given as the input. And once we create the array, right, we'll have to fill out uh, by splitting the string into uh, four different parts, right? So now sort the array by using a new iComparator class. The iComparator is basically you want to identify the values which are invalid, right? So you sort uh that array and then detect if it is within $1000 the sorting is based on the times so the, the sorting that we have to do is based on the so use uh, time that is the second thing right so time is the second thing that we are going to see right so um The other thing, if they are, uh, if they are in the same, uh, basically time, right? So we will go through the, uh, what do you say, the name, basically, right? So first is the time, and then if the time matches, then it is the name that we have to use. So that is the logic that we are going to use the iComparator class, and then once the sorted, once the sorted array is available, we will be going through the sorted array and do. The detection of whether it is greater than thousand dollars or within the name sixty minutes for the same name within another city or not. So likewise, so that is the that is the way to do it. Let's go look at the code, right? So first, as let's look go look at the placeholder class. So the placeholder class is 
the transaction which contains the name time amount city right so these are the four fields right so this is a placeholder class for this placeholder class we are writing an i compared so this is the i compared that we are going to use it to sort the list of the transactions so first we are going to compare the name if if the names are same then we are going to compare the time otherwise if the names are not same we just go with the name so that is what we are going to use first name and then time if the same same name is same then we are going to look at the time if the name is not same then we don't have to worry about the time because the, um uh, if the name is different even if they occur within 60 minutes we don't flag it as invalid transactions right so this is the i compared class that we are going to use so let's go back to the main uh, method where we are going to write the invalid transactions uh, uh, function so let's get the length of the transactions and we have a uh, answer this is the hash set that we are going to return right and then uh, we have created a array of transactions right uh, likewise we created a dictionary of uh, transactions right so likewise and now we go through the each transaction and split this transaction into four different parts name time amount and city and store them in the transaction array so you sort this transaction array by using the new transaction sort right so the sort is based on the name and the time if the name is same then we will go going to go with the time if the name is not same we'll just go with the name that's it so that's what it is so let's go so once the sorted array is sorted then we go through the sorted array if the transaction amount is greater than 1000 right just go add it to the uh, hash set that we are going to return so otherwise right so otherwise um what we are going to use is uh, starting from the next uh, the next element if the name is same if the name is same then we will have to see whether the city is different and the time is less than 60 if so we add both transactions to the list the answer that we need to return otherwise we just break if the name is not same we just break we we have to go to go to the next element so likewise this will be repeated for uh, n number of times right for each of the objects finally we are going to return the answer list which will have the invalid transactions because that is what we have identified so this is one of one condition and this is another condition where we are checking for so hope you uh, understood the problem so let's look at the time complexity of this algorithm right so uh, the time complexity we are going through each transaction here so we will say this will be uh, for this for loop it will be equal to the order of number of transactions and we start we are going to sort using the trans sort right so that will be uh, typically a sorting algorithm will be uh, order of uh, uh, n log n right and now we are going through that uh, entire set starting from 0 to n uh, the the worst case complexity for this will be uh, order of n square right the typical uh, this is a worst case uh, let me so this is the worst case so the overall time complexity for this would be um order of n square so this is a worst case that we are saying no, normally this is not the worst case that in practical that you see but you would probably it is anywhere from uh, order of n order of n to order of n square right so that's what the uh, practical complexity hope you understood the problem if you like the solution please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends thanks for watching i'll be back with another video very soon till then bye